Good afternoon. I'm Alexis Dobbins and I've been asked to come and speak with you today about the new component of the SAT, which is the written essay. I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm an author, I'm an editor, and I'm a publisher. So I'm really, really comfortable with um, writing essays and what you want to do and how you want to use that to your benefit. Um, and today we're going to do some exercises, get you a little bit comfortable with that, and we're going to have a good time while we do that, okay? All right. Um, let me start off by asking how many people in here have taken the SAT? Okay, some of you have taken the SAT. I'm not going to embarrass you and ask you how you did. But let me just say that um, your administrator shared some statistics with me. And it looks like you guys could do a little bit better on the written portion of the SAT. But don't worry about it. Again, we're going to work. We're going to do some essay, some short essays, some essayettes, if you will. We're going to do a little bit of that. And then we're going to look at what we've done. And um, I'll make some suggestions and we'll have a good time. But you'll be a little better prepared, okay? One of the things that I noticed when I was looking at your essays was a number of you actually write the way that you speak. And a lot of people do that. That's not a big issue. But when you're doing a formal essay, you want to be a little bit more uh, focused than you would be if you're having a conversation with your friends. I was coming in and, you know, it's just a high school, it's a wonderful high school, and you're hearing things like, yo, what's up, how you doing, how you been, your cuz, your son, what's up? Okay, that's cute, but we don't want to do that in its written equivalent, okay? Um, another, let me, th let's look at some specific words, maybe, that we use, okay? Um, anybody here use the word conversate? Nobody uses that? Okay. You want to be shy? It's all right. Um, conversate is not a word. All right. You can converse. You can have a conversation. But you can't conversate. Conversate is not a word. Okay. Make a quick note of that. Write that down. You don't want to have that on your essay. Another word, and students and adults use this. I can't tell you how many times I'm in a conversation with another adult, and they say, even at a meeting, they say, well, we're going to uh, have this program, we're going to start this program on Monday, irregardless of whether we're ready or not. Okay? What does regardless mean? Okay, I think I hear somebody over here. Regardless means without regard means you don't have regard for whatever the particular uh, situation or the particular event is. Irregardless means that you are without, without regard. Okay? Anybody kind of get a sense of that? So what you're really saying when you write irregardless is you're saying, I am without, without regard, which means I have regard. All right? Second word that you want to make sure you don't include is irregardless. All right. Um, I have a 17-year-old son. Every essay that he does, usually about the second or the third paragraph, and I know it's coming, okay? If it's a really important paper, I'll just proof it one time, maybe catch mistakes that he's overlooked. Somewhere in those first three paragraphs, he says, in my opinion, okay? Really important that you don't say, in my opinion, more than once in a formal essay. It's your essay, okay? If you haven't stated the information came from somebody else, it would be what? Everybody, it would be your opinion. So you don't keep saying, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, in my learned opinion, in my opinion. It's your paper. We know it's your opinion. And the last thing, and I see quite a bit of this as well, I believe. When you hear the words, I believe, what do you think of? I was actually joking with somebody about this before I came out. Whenever somebody says to me, I believe, I kind of hear the children are our future. Teach them well. And Okay, so we got, all right. It's, it's related to, in my opinion. I believe, of course you believe. 
okay? You want to be careful in an essay when you write, I believe, make sure that it's at a point where it's important for you to make a definitive statement as opposed to just saying, I believe. And then the next paragraph you say, in my opinion, I believe, okay? Again, it's your paper, we get that you believe, all right? Those are just a few things we can get out of our essays real quick. You've got a list with how many terms in there that you're not gonna use? One, two, three, four, we just went over four. Okay, we're going to take a short break, then we're going to come back. I'm not going to talk as much. You're going to talk some more. You're going to write a lot, and we'll see what we have in about an hour or so. At the end of the day, we're going to have you ready to do a wonderful essay so you can ace that SAT and get in to the college of your choice.